green screen but don't have the space or can't afford one, then you need Personify Chroma Cam. This program will allow you to use your laptop webcam or any other webcam that you may have with a green screen effect. It's available for free to use forever with watermark or you can buy the Chroma Cam Pro for a one-time fee of $30. Check it out in the description below. Hey guys, welcome to Random Phantom. Today we're going to be going over the Elder Scrolls Blades. It's in early access right now for mobile devices so on Android, probably iOS too. And let's get started. First we'll just wait for it to check for its updates since this is a online only game which that's something that sort of sucks you can't play this game offline that's that's too bad i already have my computer doing something else already so it might be a little slower i'm gonna have it updating my streamlabs obs so i can make a video on my computer Always got tilt controls. So that's something new, I guess. Yeah, this game has plenty of potential, but it's ruined by microtransactions and bad controls. I mean, the the touch controls and the FOV is pretty bad on. On devices I mean, if you want to walk somewhere you you just go tap wherever you want to walk instead of giving you an actual joystick I mean that's what they do And there's also a bit of a delay when you click and it changes to the next message. And it's not really a device problem either, but this is a pretty strong phone. And it's a gaming phone, so that's something that they could work on. But it is still in early access. It's not perfectly smooth, but it's it's okay. And as you can see, for the controls, all you have is just is the taps. That's pretty much it.
they could have voice acting, but they don't even have that, which is kind of a shame. And that would that would have been neat. I mean, it's just text on the screen that you read. Otherwise, the graphics of this game look pretty good for I mean for a mobile device. And they're approaching you know console quality. And this is I don't know maybe PlayStation Two or Three graphics, and it's in your pocket so. Notifications coming up, all right, yeah, whatever. While we're at it, we'll go look at the store just so you can see what sort of microtransactions they have. After we open up our free chest, of course, in our loot box. And there we go. We opened up our loot box. And you can see there's the daily offers. Here's the several different types of chests you can get. Of course, this one you get stuff that's rather meh and as you can see you get the uncommon stuff and just a little bit of rare but what actually what common is is the uncommon stuff so then you have this which gives you epic stuff and then you have the legendary stuff and of course it costs more money so this one, this one chest is 2,500 gems. You go look at how much 2,500 gems is. You're paying $20 for one loot box. Which is rather kind of ridiculous, if you ask me. And the microtransactions are pretty bad. And oh, that that's also perhaps with a bonus already. So you might actually be getting less than that the next time. But there you go, that is the microtransactions inside of Elder Scrolls Blades. Now we'll go back to our, we'll go to character. But like, those graphics are pretty decent right there.
And of course, you have wait times. Of course, this is just five seconds, but as you progress, it's probably going to go from minutes to hours, maybe even a few days. Name your town. All right. We'll give it some sort of name. I don't know what I'll name my town yet. So I'll just, hmm. I'll just call it District 12. Or, nah. Random fandom. Random Fandom Town. <laughs> That's the name of my town. Hey, at least you're getting gems for free. When you level up, I guess. Got 30 gems right there. Go ahead and go for the spells tree for now. Next, I'll be unlocking some abilities. Now you do have the option to use a joystick, if you enable virtual joysticks. Then you hit confirm, go back. And then you lose the swipe controls, or do you? I mean, you, you end up with finicky controls. I mean, you, you get both swipe. Very finicky, of course. And you also get the joystick. And now it's being a little less finicky. Alright.
And as you can see, the traffic controls. Let's sit down. I mean, they would have been a lot better off to have some dedicated buttons. It also locks your focus too as well. It would be better if we could like walk closer to the enemy and be able to hit them easier than just have this stand still and tap the screen combat, but that's what we get. It's basically dumbed down controls to the point of where it's almost useless. Of course, when you turn on your joystick controls, it doesn't disable tap to walk either, so basically all you did was add just a whole bunch more confusion for the game to comprehend when you're trying to control it, so you're better off turning off the virtual joysticks and playing it that way, but then it's, it, it still feels like crappy controls. And of course, as you can see, the FOV is pretty zoomed in, at least in landscape mode, which is how you would want to play a game like this, if you're not a peasant.
as you can see you got the little control issues like that where you just sort of just walk into something and yeah would be easily fixable by having better controls Your sword just sort of floats in the air too. You don't have any arm movements that you can see. Which sort of makes the game look a little more stupid yet. Now we can go back to the complete quest button. Yeah, Elder Scrolls Blades has crappy controls, bad field of view, and a bit too much on monetization. I mean, the graphics are pretty decent. I mean, for a mobile device, these are very much passable graphics. And also, the requirement for having internet in order to play this game, that sort of sucks. I mean, otherwise, it's just taken up like a gig of space and you can't even play this when you're on the road or on the plane or any place where you don't have a good cell phone connection or internet access of any sort. So if you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and until next time, peace.